check this beauty out, guys. He's got custom seats in here out of a V. Last time he brought it by, I did a bolt on city panel. Now he wants it molded, you know, more blended in with the stock panel fiberglass. I'm also going to be doing a molded uh, roof panel. He does have a sunroof, so it should be doable. I know it's going to be a little harder, but it shouldn't be too bad. And what else? We're going to be adding some tweeters up on top as well. Everything molded. We're going to wrap his, um, whatchamacallum? Pillars. Pillars. Yes, that's the word. That's his beauty. So... We're also going to be doing panels out here. I don't know if you guys seen um, my boy Diam's outside panels. I'll post a picture of what that looks like. Um, I created them for his truck because he was going to get tubs installed. And the ones that he had were for six and a half. So he wanted to go with eights. So we created something. It looked pretty cool. A lot of people liked them. This guy saw him, he's like, hey, I might have to get the same ones because they look sick and they're really loud. He does have a stone wall, but we are gonna be adding one on each corner where the wires are at. And, and meanwhile, me and Angel here are working on doing some custom pillars for a 99 206 Chevy. This guy bought the three-way components from Sky High. Here's the one that's already wrapped and getting ready for fiberglass. And these are some off a TRD Camry that we already did. This is what they look like when they're done. You wanna get some extra sound from your pillars. This is what you can do. So if you guys need something done, let me know. For small pieces like this, I do offer shipping. When it comes to big boxes, stuff like that, no. Tell him, Angel. Yeah. Okay, this is where we're at so far. So I'm mocking up the template. Para ver si va a quedar. Because if you see here, it's very, very close. Again, he has custom seats. So I think these are taller than the stock ones. And then he does have a sunroof. So it's a very, very tight space. So far. I put fiberglass here. This is the rear of it. The reason for this was because uh, since it is going for the sunroof, it, it seemed kind of kind of weak. And for that, we have this bad boy. Okay, so here I mocked up my template. The template that I made here. So, in order for my speakers to fit, I'm gonna want my template to be sitting, pointing pretty much straight forward, right? So I have a brace that I normally use for the universal roof panels. Obviously that's not gonna work here, because I would need it to be like this. So, there it is, that is straight, and then the piece of cardboard is sitting pretty flat at the bottom. So all I did was trace this, and I'm gonna cut it right now and see if that lines up. So ya que estaba el template in place, all I'm doing is with this material, it's called fleece, you can buy it at Joann's, at your local, I don't know, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, stuff like that. Um, hot gluing it in place, I'm gonna set my boundary line here at the edge of, of the cut for the sunroof, and then I'm gonna pull it towards the rear. Same thing for the sides, stretch it out. Um, the more open out you have it, the easier it is to blend. You don't want to have lines, you know, once you do your headliner, you don't want to have a hard line of where where your panel's at. So you'll want to blend it. I'll show you guys right now. Aquí anda Angel, ya echándole el fiberglass. So, you guys can see the fleece. I glued it. Um, I showed you guys earlier. My boundary line there. 
and then started working my way around. Ya acá anda el compa José, supervising the work. <laughs> so here are the pods that I'm creating for my tweeters. I drew a line to kind of get an idea of where I'm going to be sticking the the material so that it's stretched out and it should look something like that one. And then obviously on the edges, I'm going to do some body filler and blend it in all the way. You get the idea. Material. Y ahora le echamos fiberglass resin. It's just regular resin that you can buy at O'Reilly's or at Home Depot. This material is called fleece. It's better than carpet. It's better than using a t-shirt. It actually sucks a lot of material. So it hardens really good with just one coat of, of resin. Okay, so it's a little messy right now because I did put a lot of body filler. So I'm blending all the area so it kind of like fades out. So it's not a hard line when I'm wrapping. So you can see what it looks like there. So show you guys what it looks like after I sand it. Okay, here I'm almost done with the body work. Just gotta sand a little bit more. what it looks like. Okay. I do want to wear a mask if you use this glue, but we're out in the open and it's very ventilated, so I can't really smell it. You're going to have a big nose. <laughs> This is how cold it is right now. Cold. So, that's what it's looking like. And then what I did is just up the small little extra. What I did is first I, before I cut it, I kind of tried to tuck it in. So I kind of marked a line of where it would go. And now what I'm doing is um, just tucking it in there as best as I can. So I get the extra piece, try to like fold it in there so it stuffs in. Sorry. I'm trying to record the best I can and do this at the same time. It's kind of hard. And that's what it's that's what it's uh, looking like. <laughs> okay guys so right now we are test fitting the outside panels so the actual panel itself is going to sit like that and then it's going to have a trim on it with a mesh grill he's had this done somewhere else um there's nothing wrong with it but there is a small imperfection here that i personally don't like and it did get rained on i'm assuming that's going to be mdf that they use because right away it started swelling even though it's vinyl wrapped and it started uh, do this so i'm going to replace that make a new face with birch it's more durable with the rain and i'll make it wider so it covers this you looking at hey, this guy kind of looks like conor mcgregor who the fuck is this guy using the same template that i used for the roof panel now i created this one um just to give it a, a, a different look than the usual show you guys what it looks like right now an update on the roof panel this was my first time uh, wrapping a headliner that had a sunroof, not gonna lie, it was pretty hard. I did get a little bit of wrinkles here, but overall, I think it looks really good. Got the tweeters over here on this side, six and a halfs, and then obviously tweeters on the other side. And then here we are going to be adding 
a third battery. He has his factory. I don't know what battery that is, but it's not the stock one. And then he has a secondary excess power over there. And then we are going to add a lithium battery here. So I'm going to have to modify this intake, cut it, move the filter up, leave some room to put the battery here. Okay, on to the next step. So I'm doing a mold of titty panel, two six and a half, two tweeters. Same process as the other one. Wrap it with fleece, glue it on my boundary line. Then I'm gonna sand everything and then we bundle the edges to let it be smooth. Another thing we're doing is his stock uh, A-pillar. We're gonna cut it because he wants it wrapped. He doesn't want the handle. So we're gonna cut that and delete it. So the pillar, ya le moche la handle, put some bundle. Right now we're gonna sand it. Have the city panel and just sanding that down so we could uh, upholster that one as well. I could the A-pillar. That one's going to. Okay, guys, so this one is my rear panel. This is the one that's going to go outside uh, on the sides of the bed. This is what it looks like once I wrap it. Clean finish, no wrinkles. And then it is going to get another trim that's going to sit on top. This is the cover that's going to go here. It's going to have a mesh grill. Mm hmm. Remember that a heat gun is always going to be your best friend when it is cold. Because vinyl does not want to stretch right now. And it's supposed to rain, so hopefully I get this done before it starts sprinkling. Okay guys, so aquí tenemos ya el panel molded and wrapped. Here's my grill piece. There's the mesh that I added to match the headliner. That's how it's going to sit. And then it is going to be held in place when I put the speakers here, because the speakers are going to be on the outside. They're not going to be. They're not going to be under. The tweeters are going to be hidden. Obviously, you're still going to hear them. So when you screw the speakers in, it'll hold the panel in place. That's what it looks like. Sí, bueno. That's it. Nice, nice, Cruz, nice. Okay, so for his rear panel, this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do birch instead. It is stronger material, it holds water better. Thank you. 